I'm Brett Larkin, and welcome to the Find Your Style Yoga Challenge that I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Kundalini Yoga is often called the Yoga of Awareness, as it's as much a spiritual and mental practice as it is a physical one. Unlike Vinyasa and Hatha Yoga, which involve flowing on the breath, Kundalini Yoga exercises are precise, repetitive, and prescriptive. In Kundalini Yoga, you'll chant, sing, move, and work with the breath to elevate your conscious awareness, all to activate that Kundalini energy said to live at the base of your spine. Keep an open mind, and you may just fall head over heels in love with this powerful style of yoga. Let's check it out. Make sure you're sitting up on something so that your hips are higher than your knees. You can sit on some couch cushions or a bolster if you have one at home. We're going to start by tuning in. So every Kundalini class opens with this same mantra, the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. And this mantra connects us to what's called the golden chain of teachers, students, and teachings that have come before us, connects us to the legacy of yoga. So just like a guitarist would tune his guitar, or a violinist would tune his instrument before coming on to stage to perform, by doing this mantra, we tune in to this golden chain of teachers and teachings. We get connected to the power of this practice. So to tune in with me, you can listen or join if you feel like chanting as well. You'll just rub the palms together. So just rub left and right palm together. This also balances the left and right hemisphere of the brain. And it also wakes up over the 50,000 nerve endings that live in your hands. Good, now take the hands to stillness. Press the thumbs into the heart center. Feel the heart rise to meet the thumbs. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Once again, deep breath in. And deep breath out. And this time breathing in for the chant and you can listen or join. Breathing in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Again. Om breath in. Keep the thumbs at heart center. Retain the breath for as long as is comfortable. And then exhale. Allow the backs of the hands to rest on the knees. Index finger and thumb touch. Just noticing the after effects of the mantra. Gently blink the eyes open. We'll start with Sufi grind. So come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. I like to stay propped up, but you can sit however is comfortable for you. If you're just gonna inhale, take the spine in some circles. So as you breathe out, you really roll back on your sits bones, and as you breathe in, you take the upper body forward. So with Kundalini Yoga, there's always the option to add a mantra to the movement you're doing. So with this one, as you breathe in and come forward, you can silently chant or say to yourself the mantra Sat, 
And as you lean back on the sits bones and kind of round, you can silently say or chant yourself the mantra, Nam, Sat Nam, which just means truth is my identity. I am centered and anchored in my truth. Take it around the other way. And then come to pause at center. Sit up nice and tall. Once again, you can hold the shins coming into a spinal flex. So on the inhale, chin stays parallel to the ground, but you're gonna arch the back. On the exhale, you can exhale a little bit forcibly through the nose and round, sitting back on the sits bones. So if you don't wanna sit up on something for this one, no big deal, just find what's most comfortable for you. Inhale, chest puffs, but chin stays parallel to the floor. Exhale, you round back on your sits bones, deeply rounding the back. So here we go, inhaling and exhaling, and then add the breath. So it's an inhale through the nose, exhaling forcibly through the nose. So it'll look like this. Same thing here, keep going on your own. You can silently chant or say to yourself the mantra sat as you rock forward and nam as you rock back. Using this mantra to anchor you in the movement, keep going, just finding your own pace. It can be fast or it can be slow. Hold on to your shins, your ankles for support. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, keep the movement going. So we're going to be here for another minute. Last 20 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Come to stillness, sit up nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale all the way, eyes closed. And deep breath in. Exhale completely. Without opening the eyes yet, just notice the after effects of this simple posture and breathing technique on your energy. Just notice the air surrounding your skin. observing the quality of the energy within and around you. Good, gaze down as you're ready. Gently blink the eyes open. For our next exercise, we're going to take the hands to the shoulders. So you'll have the fingers in front, the thumbs in back, and you wanna make sure your elbows are parallel uh, to the floor, so elbows in line with the shoulders. And this is super heating and detoxifying and fun. 
What we do is we're gonna inhale to the left, so make sure it's your left, so you should be going the other way as me. Inhale to the left, and then exhale to the right. Once again, forcibly through the nose. So it'll look like this. Right, so abdominals are engaged up and in, especially those obliques, to allow you to stay centered here as you enjoy the twist. Close the eyes, and as you do this exercise, roll your eyes up and in towards your third eye, just above and between the eyebrows. And of course, you can silently chant Sat Nam, Sat on the inhale, Nam on the exhale. Let's go, start by inhaling to the left, which for you will be this way. Here we are. eyes up and in towards the third eye center, gently massaging the pituitary gland, master gland of the body that regulates all the rest of your glandular systems by rolling the eyes up and in towards this third eyebrow point. We're just gently stimulating that point, bringing balance to the body, also activating our intuition. the core engaged, muscles of the abdominals engaged, breath strong and steady. If the mind wanders or you feel like you want to stop, remember that mantra, just bring the mind back to Sat Nam. Yogi Bhajan, father of Kundalini Yoga, always used to say, keep up and you will be kept up. So keep up with the exercises and the exercise and the practice will take care of you. Just 30 more seconds. Keep the elbows high. Last 10. Last three, two, one, good. Come to stillness, bring the hands into the lap. Take a deep breath in, maybe gently retain the breath. So inhale, activate Muladhara Bandha, pulling your pelvic floor up and in. Just gentle retention of the breath. And then exhaling as you need to, keeping the eyes closed. Once again, deep breath in. Exhale completely, eyes closed. And once again, just notice the quality of your energy. Just take a few breaths here to saturate in the, the auric field, the magnetism that you've created. chin, gently blink the eyes open. Come to sit on your mat. You'll take the left leg long, right sole of foot into the left groin, and just fold over this left leg as deeply or as 
little as you want. We're just gonna do long, slow, deep breathing here for a full minute. So no more forcible exhales, just nice, long, slow, deep breathing in and out through the nose. to the right side of your low back. And gently press yourself, press yourself up and we'll switch sides. So right leg long, left sole of foot into the right groin, breathing in and then exhaling, folding over that leg far as is comfortable for you. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhales and exhales are equal in length. Gently press yourself up. Coming on to all fours. This is one you may be familiar with. We'll just do a few cat cows for around a minute. So inhale, opening the chest. Exhaling, deeply rounding the low back. Drawing the navel up and in, chin into chest. Good, and then come on into child's pose, which is often called baby pose in Kundalini yoga. And just rest, full minute, long, slow, deep, inhales and exhales through the nose. Gently press yourself back up to a seated position. If you were sitting up on something, maybe bring that back now so the hips are above the knees once again. 
We're gonna do shoulder shrugs for one minute. So how these work is you just take the shoulders up and let them drop down. So interestingly enough, this actually really helps relieve a lot of shoulder tension. So it looks like this. So just move along with me, shoulders up, and just let them release down. another 20 seconds. Good, and then find stillness, close the eyes, draw a deep breath in. Exhale completely. more deep breath in. Exhale all the way. And we'll take five neck rolls now. So if it's comfortable for you, you can take the neck in a full circle, also taking the head a little bit back. If that's unsafe or doesn't feel right for your neck, you can just take ear to ear. So you choose either full circle We're just ear to ear. Take your time, go slow. And after you've done at least five, change directions. So just go the opposite way. Last one. As you're ready, come to stillness. For our big finish, we're going to end with perhaps the most famous Kundalini Kriya, Ego Eradicator. I'm called this because it slays through our fears and our ego and really gets us in touch with our true power, our true potential. So in order to do this, we must learn breath of fire. So you might be familiar with breath of fire, Kabbalah Bhati breath. If you're not, it's a sharp exhale through the nose and the inhale is passive. So it looks like this. So if you look at my belly, my navel is snapping back towards my spine each time I exhale. So if you find this challenging, you're, it's your transverse abdominis, your deepest layer of abs that's really powering this pumping of the navel center. And just like any other muscle in the body, it takes a while to gain strength. So if you feel a little stitching in your side or you get a little sore, if you're new to this, that's completely normal. Now, if you're pregnant like me, you wanna do long, slow, deep breathing instead, or if you're in the first 120 days of your pregnancy, just do a very light breath of fire. But assuming you're not pregnant like I am, I really want you almost violently snapping the navel back into the spine as you exhale through the nose. All right, for the arms, we have the fingers curled in, the thumbs pointed in, and the arms stay at 45 degrees. And this is because there's very important meridian lines uh, and a lot of nerves right here in this armpit area. So don't let the arms sag down and don't let them be too high up either. We want them right at 45 degrees. So to begin, exhale all the air out of the body. Inhale deeply. 
Exhale all the air out. Inhale just halfway and begin your breath of fire. So your breath of fire could be slow and steady. Or it might be very fast. Just remember, faster isn't better. You want to find a consistent pace where it feels like the abdominal muscles are working. You're snapping the navel back into the spine every single time, really contracting your core and then letting the belly release. And it's just a sharp, sharp staccato exhale through the nose. So the inhale is passive. There's no real intentional breath in. Eyes are closed, gaze is rolled up and into your third eye center, space just above and between the eyebrows. Seat of your intuition, your sixth chakra, and this physically corresponds in the body again to that pituitary gland, master gland of the body, which you're massaging and activating when you roll your eyes up and in in this way. We're here for three minutes. We've already passed minute one. So keep your breath long and steady. If you need to slow down that Kapalabhati breath, that's fine. Just don't let the arms come down. Stay with the breath. And if you need, you can, of course, can use the mantra Sat Nam to anchor and ground you here. So this is very much an exercise of exerting mental control and willpower over the physical discomfort of having the arms raised and continuing to do the breathing. So exercise your willpower here. Remember, keep up and you will be kept up. Keep it going. Stay strong, keep the elbows straight, keep the arms at 45 degrees. Last 30 seconds here. Keep gazing at that third eye center, eyes rolled up and in. Counting down now, last few seconds. As we end, we'll take the thumbs to touch above the head. So counting down, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the thumbs to touch above the head. Pull the groin away from the mat. So activate your pelvic floor. Pull the navel up and in. Dip the chin. Retain the breath for as long as you comfortably can. Just holding the breath in. When you need to exhale, take the backs of the hands to the knees, palms face up, index finger and thumb touch, just absorbing the after effects of this practice. Notice the quality of your energy here. 
saturate yourself in the after effects of this breath. Stay seated here in meditation or come to lie down on your back for Shavasana. So your choice, staying seated or coming to lie down. you are, slowly begin to deepen the breath. Shavasana, wiggle fingers and toes, moving slowly, curling into a little ball and rolling on your right side. Coming back to your meditative seat. Keeping your eyes closed and your attention in, so the head is the last thing to come up. If you've been in seated meditation, just take the tongue to the roof of the mouth or just behind the teeth. And press the tongue into that point. Slowly grounding yourself. And we'll all bring the hands to heart center. Rub the palms together once again. And then taking thumbs to collarbones. Fingers point straight up. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. And we'll end by chanting a long sat short nam. You can listen or join. Truth is my identity. Breathing in. Sa. Satnam yogis, deep breath in, dip the chin to blink your eyes open. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Kundalini Yoga with me. So much love, Satnam and Namaste, many blessings. So how'd it go? Have you found your style yet? Which one's your favorite? Let me know what you thought in the comments below this video. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.